One thing's for sure, Facebook has made numerous acquisitions, uh, both in analytics and in um, social media advertising companies. Uh, they've obviously rolled out their Facebook ad exchange platform for real-time bidding. So it allows uh, any advertiser to connect for real-time bidding on the ad network on Facebook. Um, so the one trend that we'll see is that uh, since Facebook is now accountable to their shareholders, they have to make money. Um, so you're going to see more and more uh, solutions that connect brands to the consumers on Facebook. Uh, so expect to see more advertising products, especially on mobile, being released. Uh, which is fantastic for emerging markets like South Africa uh, because obviously we've got, we've got over 100% mobile penetration here. And uh, expect also Facebook to look at the other side of the coin to increase user experience. I think a lot of users still aren't seeing the best quality they can on their news feeds, which is obviously lowering engagement. So Facebook is going to make uh, massive tweaks to, to the algorithms this year, I think, to, to really customize the news feed according to each person. So if you're interested in hard news versus uh, friend updates versus photos versus videos, it's going to be customized according to you. Um, and Facebook is collecting as much data as possible in order to do that. Well, look, the truth is Facebook ad click-through rates have been declining on average year on year for the last five years. So ad performance overall is declining, uh, but that's why Facebook is looking at other ways in, in which to engage people, specifically through content. Um, I think things like targeted content marketing will be the way to go. I think too many Facebook ads still look like ads and they're still structured as banners instead of content. And people are, are sick and tired, to be frank, about, about ads in their face. Uh, but with that said, ironically, Facebook has had its best year in terms of ad revenue. Uh, and also they've managed to start um, coining it on, on mobile. A lot of people thought they wouldn't be able to make it, but they've, they've, um, I think they're more profitable per, uh, per capita on mobile now than on desktop. So they're doing something right. And uh, like I said, I think the emphasis will be on content in the future. Globally, there's 1.2 billion monthly active users on Facebook. So it's an incredibly diverse platform. Locally, we've got almost 12 million people on the platform. Uh, many of them obviously accessing it through, through mobile. I think the, the, the stat is over 80%. Um, so it's, it's, it's the kind of usage that represents the general population. Um, in many ways, a lot of South Africans are utilizing Facebook. Everyone's got access to, to mobiles now. Many people have access to, to mobile internet. Uh, and the Facebook icon appears on pretty much every smartphone in the country. I think most of the social networks, the big ones, have had their IPOs. You've got LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, they've got their IPOs, they need to make money, they've got the users, they've got the usage. Uh, so they're going to be looking at ways in which to consolidate all of that, improve and enhance the, the experience, um, and connect advertisers in a better way. Uh, but like I've said, um, banner ads obviously don't work, um, and anything that resembles a banner ad will not work. Uh, people want to engage with really good quality content. Uh, and you know the problem is a lot of brands are creating a lot of content these days. So we're very content rich, but I guess uh, many people aren't interested in a lot of that. So the key really is to target content to the right audiences. Um, you know, for, for every piece of content created by an interesting brand, there's a person out there that wants to read it.